Hello everyone, we are going to see how to assemble this model which is called as windmill generator model. Model is named as 2 in 1. So generate the electricity by the way it is generated by wind uh, or by windmill. So this is how you are going to open the box. Okay. Now let's see what all things we are going to get into the box here. There is a home cutout. These are the two tors. This is a board cut out, four legs of the board, then uh, pulley with handle, three blade fan, then in this pouch we will get two rubber band, big rubber band, one dynamo motor. Four blade fan, small rubber bands, LEDs, wires to connect LEDs and apart from this you are going to get a very beautiful colored instruction manual with stepwise instruction provided along with how all components will work in a G1 project so that you can write down everything like you can understand everything how electricity is generated from windmill okay along with this they are saying be creative this home cutout you can color in your favorite colors watercolor or sketch pen and you can uh, decorate your model as per your wish so let us start assembling the product for assembling first we will assemble the base so we will need this big wooden cutout its four leg and few small rubber bands i will show you how to assemble so you are, this is the front side of the board so insert this small leg from the back side now to fix this you are supposed to put the rubber band so one way that you the rubber band you should you are supposed to do it double so that it will be firm now look another method to so you just twist the rubber band in your hand and then put it that is another way of doing it I will again show it to you. This is the first tire way. So just stuck the one rubber, put the rubber band around the studs. And another way is insert the rubber band. Put the rubber band in your hand. Okay. So now it's a firm board. Now what you are going to do, we will first press the tower on the rubber band. Now if you look at the tower, tower will come into two different designs, two different pattern. Whatever pattern you want, you can use it. Okay. So basic theme is on one tower there is a day, on another tower there is a night. So any design you want, you can use it. So this is how these two towers will stand. Now here, again you are supposed to fix these two towers using rubber band. So all four studs which are coming out from the back side of the board are supposed to insert this into the rubber band. Apart from this, what you are supposed to do? Give it a twist, double, so that tower will be firm. Hmm? Same way, insert the house into the another. Now again, you are supposed to twist the rubber band, make it double and fix the house from the base side like this hold it okay. I'll just show it to you and fine it's done okay now this is the working part of this project that is a dynamo motor okay how to do the connection and everything that we will see but how to test whether this motor is working or not or whether it is a dynamo motor I will show you one simple trick Take one big size LED which is provided and insert this LED or uh, uh, just spread it legs and insert the long leg of LED into this red dot pin and short leg into another pin. Okay, now you just hold this and just give it a good twist. See, that means motor is generating electricity. So it's a DC motor. Okay. Now what we will do, we will put this motor into these two holes which are provided on the top of the tower. Insert it into one hole 
press it then insert it into another hole it's very easy and now you just mix these two dots okay this is how then next step we are supposed to use this pulley with handle which is having two nuts and one bolt okay so you just there is one hole provided on the tar just insert it here So this is how this pulley will rotate with your hand. Fine. So now this connection is done. Now we will see how to do the connection for LEDs. These are the two wires provided. You can see these ends of the wires are strapped. They are half cut. You are supposed to remove this plastic coating from this half cut wires. Remove these. It's very easy to remove. And then you just connect all the. You can see there are different threads. Connect all this. Connect all this together like this. And what I am doing, I am taking another wire and I am connecting its brown ends into together. Just giving it a good twist. Hold it firmly. Give it a good twist. Make it a single wire. Make it look like a single strand. Okay. Similarly, first connect this black end. Hold it. Give it a good twist and again connect it with another black wire. And now you can see there are two wires together connected very well. Form connection like this. So this is how these two wires will look like. Like all brown uh, wires together, black wire together. Now what you are going to do. Here you can see there is a pin, golden color pin at the back end of the dynamo motor. You are supposed to insert this twisted wire and just give it a good twist. Okay. Second time. Here you should take care that all these uh, free end of the wire should not touch each other. Now there you can see, take this plug, insert it from house, take another plug, they are coming in front. Now here we will add LEDs. Now in LEDs the long terminal is positive, short terminal is negative. So what I am doing, I am adding, I am inserting long terminal into brown wire and short into black. You can do any ways, it's just two understand where we have connected the long and short terminal nothing specific if you do it reverse still it will work okay now i'm doing i'm just adding second now it's done what i will do i will put this big size rubber band stretch it little bit so that it will get good electricity and then good elasticity and then put it on this fully now see if I rotate it, you should try both ways, okay, rotating clockwise or anti-clockwise. Now what happened, it is working anti-clockwise. What I will do, I will take out this LED and if I reverse the terminals. So now you see, anti-clockwise, uh, here one LED is glowing, anti-clockwise another LED is glowing. So both ways this motor will generate electricity. Your project is almost complete to give it the final look just put the fan press fit it on the shaft of the motor and see it's working very well again if you want you can change the terminal of this LED so that in single rotation both LEDs will glow at a time okay now see both LEDs are glowing two fans are given just to enhance the look Whatever look you want for your windmill, you can just change the fan and you can change the look of the windmill. See. That's it. Nothing specific is there. Both ways it will work. Now, your job is to fix this LEDs. Paste it here or just keep this here. And you can actually...
paint this house you can decorate this house in the colors of your choice and you can decorate your project as well so this is your project is ready now working of the project this is the small dynamo motor which has magnet and on rotation this magnet revolve inside the circular coil and that is why electricity is generated this rotation of this shaft of the motor can happen by hand rotation or if you can blow it by hair dryer or some air blower so still it will blow and it will generate electricity with the speed of air so that is why we called it as two in one motor you can use it as a hand generated motor or you can actually blow it with air blower and you can check the working of the motor